Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and everybody is walking around like this, and we want to make you guys a bit more like this. So we're gonna help you to open everything up with some easy to do sofa stretches. First thing you wanna do is get yourself a sofa, preferably one in your own home, and from there, you're going to start with opening up the shoulders. Well, I'm not, but Jenny is. So, get yourself on your sofa and from there, scoot yourself up until you're able to actually lean over the arm of the chair. Don't worry if your, so, your sofa is right up against the wall like mine, we'll show you a different variation in a second. But from there, what Jenny's gonna do is get herself a nice stretch in the chest and then drop her hips down a little bit. And then from there, she imagines she's trying to do a sit up, but from her upper back. So she's actually trying to open herself up a bit further. From there, she does three deep breaths. So she goes, ah, and she lets everything out. All of her worries and stress floats away. And then she does two more of those nice deep breaths, each time trying to open things up a little bit further. If this is your first time doing it, come back up after your three breaths. If you've done this a few times before, then you're able to hang out there for a bit longer. So if you don't have an arm of a sofa, you can use what you can do here. Sit yourself down into like a squat position and same idea, still lean over the back of the chair and ah, big deep breaths out to open up your upper back. So that's going to get you away from having your shoulders like this and help you to have a better position here. Now you want to get away from the hips being like this. So we're going to do the bed stretch on a sofa, the couch stretch, if you will. But it's not actually the couch stretch. It's a little bit of a different variation on it, which is kind of nice. So from here, you have one leg on the sofa. Jenny's then gonna sit herself back and grab hold of that foot. And then from there, she just leans herself forward until she gets a stretch in the front of the hip, okay? So have your hands on everything around you need to to make sure you don't feel like you're gonna fall over. Then she can start to rock back and forwards into this position. Squeeze her glutes and relax, you can even do a few little circles while she's there. This gets a nice stretch in the shoulders as well. So there's multiple benefits to this and depending on how tight your quads are, Jenny can probably pull her heel toes right up that way. For some people, if they're quite tight quads, they'll probably find her a bit further back. Just see where you can go to. This will just improve over time. And as well, you can shimmy back where the knee is as well and change around the positions ever so slightly. Make sure you do both sides. So if Jenny turns herself around, and we'll swap sides. From here, make sure you do both sides and assess both sides. So just like the idea of the simplistic mobility method, does one side feel tighter than the other? Because that can really pull your pelvis around one way and we don't want that. So make sure you do both sides and assess how both sides feel. Do these exercises in the evening. Great thing to do um, whenever the TV's on or whatever, just do it on the sofa, move around, stretch the hips, open everything up. And like I said at the very, very start, you're gonna get yourself from being like this to being like this.